So we've got all the new reptile one enclosures set up in the reptile room. Check it out. So we've got the venomous snake up the top here and venomous down the bottom here. But in the middle, we've got the green python enclosure and it's time to deck it out. So we're going to put some branches in it and we're going to chuck some substrate in and then we're going to put our two green pythons together. So let's get stuck into it. So what I'm going to do first is just measure the enclosure, internal measurements quickly. And, um, and then we'll go cut some branches. Let's go. All right, got the trusty Makita. Let's go. That'll do it. All right, so we got our two branches. We're going to give them a crack now and see if they fit. I reckon the green python is going to look pretty bloody camouflaged on these sticks. Exactly what you want. What I'll do is I'll cut a little bit off that one and a bit off this one, and then they'll be sitting at a bit of a better height. All right, All right let's see how they fit. heaps better I'm happy with where that's sitting so now so that I don't have to screw into the reptile one enclosures I've made these fit so that they wedge right into the corners and then I'm just going to put a screw through the two perches right here so it'll brace itself and then we'll be good to go so what we've got here is some peat moss so this stuff right here um, is like from coconuts and it's really good at retaining moisture so it's a great substrate for really tropical species like green pythons um, we do like to do a mix of this stuff with a bit of sand so depending on what species you're putting in there depends on how much sand and how much peat moss you put I'm going to put mostly this stuff and then just a little bit of sand for these guys tip this whole lot in Now we've got a bit of sand to mix in. She's a bit wet because it's rainy today, but that's all right because that, that peat moss is really absorb, absorptive. So it's going to suck all the moisture out of that sand and keep it nice and humid in here. So just mix a bit of that in. All right, we'll mix it all up. All right, we've got one more perch and a bit of browse too. How yeah, good. mackerel it's an absolute jungle in here look at that water bowl in she goes right out pretty happy with that now it's time to put the glass back in and then we can finally introduce our green python so we've got two green pythons here at wildlife unleashed and they're um it's a male and female so we did get a breeding pair or hopefully what will be a breeding pair eventually but they've never been in together so we're going to try putting them in together should be all good and i reckon they're going to like their near home let's get them right so we've got our green pythons right here they're just in the office for now while we've been decking out our reptile room so we'll get them out we'll put chili in first the girl so that she can be the alpha she looks pretty keen for a feed right now. Look how she's set up. In that S position, <laughs> ready to go. There you go, you're right. So when they're like that, if you go sticking your hand in, generally they're just gonna strike out and grab hold of you, which is um, inconvenient more than anything. <laughs> we'll just grab her out nice and gently. All right, let's put her in. Your new enclosure, girl. What do you reckon? You go for a climb. 
So Reptile One has all these different kinds of enclosures. You can see here, this is also a Reptile One enclosure, one that I've had since I was bloody 10 years old. Um, but what we're gonna use this for now, instead of the green pythons, is we're gonna set up our frogs. So we've got four frogs in here. They've outgrown this one, and they're gonna go into this one. But for now, we're gonna grab out the Grinch. And you, oh, how's that? You can see how keen this bloke is, he's always keen. So that's why you don't go sticking your hand straight in, because he's always expecting food. That's the thing. We get a lot of people asking us all the time, should you feed your, your animals out of their enclosure because they're always in aggressive and whatnot. You don't have to feed them out of their enclosure, but you do have to handle them more than you feed them if you don't want them to do that. So if you don't want that behavior, all you have to do is just use a stick or use a hook and um, it generally lets them know that they're being handled instead of being fed. And you can see here with the green pythons, they hang onto the stick until the last second. So a very common injury for green pythons in captivity is that this little worm, this little lure on the end of their tail there gets damaged because they hang onto the stick until the very last second. And if the keeper isn't really careful, they damage that tail. So you gotta take your time, be really nice and gentle with them and get them to let go, just like that. All right, time for him to meet his mate. Chili's still just exploring the new enclosure. We haven't even shut it yet. And we've just gone and grabbed this guy and we'll put him in and we'll see what they think of each other. I'll put him in over this side, I reckon. How's that? Now we'll just watch them for a bit, but this is a beautiful big enclosure by Reptile One. It's about a metre high, it's about 900 mil wide. So it's a nice big enclosure, perfect for two green pythons. Lots of climbing space. These snakes are found up in far north Queensland in the Iron Range National Park, very small national park, very unique and um, absolutely beautiful python. One of the most sought after or most beautiful pythons that we've got here in Australia. So. We're very lucky to have them here at Wildlife Unleashed. We take them to jobs all the time. We take them to daycare centers, school talks, kids parties, and they absolutely love them. It's so good for education. And now, with them being in this new enclosure, we're gonna be able to do more videos for you guys online and showcase them in something that really demonstrates how beautiful they are in a more natural style habitat. So, you. thank you to Reptile One, the absolute legends for providing us these enclosures. And um, if you want to check out their YouTube, just jump on to Reptile One. We're going to drop a bit of a link down in the comments, I believe, and check out their YouTube channel as well. They've got heaps of information about all their awesome enclosures and how to set them up. And um, stay tuned for more updates on these two. Alright, so Chili and the Grinch are in their new enclosure. They seem to be getting on great. They're loving the new enclosure. We're giving it a good explore. We're going to give them a bit of a spray down. Make them think that, that it's raining, like far north Queensland at the moment. And guys, if you like the video, make sure you like it and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of it. And if you want to support the work that we do, just by hitting the subscribe button goes a long way to helping out the work that we do. So thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.